So can you, can you think a little bit about how you see time operating in each other's work and your own? What, what the similarities are, what the differences are? Um, is, is there a different kind of present, imagine, in Stephen's work as there is in Bob's? You know, I thought a lot about it. Um, is, this, is this my home? Okay. Um, you know, the sense of Stein and uh, repetition and, and uh, what you mentioned something about Stein. It was kind of an early uh, assumption or a, a scaffolding in a way, one of the, the long, uh, the first 474 page long continuous Books I, I decided to call portraits and repetition with an ampersand, sort of as a gesture. I had a list of possible titles, and uh, so that that became a, um, an echo, of course, of Stein. But um, I thought uh, with the with the publication of, of Selected Days and thinking about all of these um, books, I began to think about uh, and the last one of the. Uh, the 3,000 page books um, collapsed into 40 pages each uh, in this, in this um, small book. And I um, began to think, now this is uh, uh, some 4,000 days uh, of, of time, passing time, each poem written in, in one day. And, and to read, also to read one of those long uh, works over a period of 14 hours. It's like very bizarre because I wanted uh, to ask you about that. The time, too. excuse me, the time, uh, I'm saying that to the mic, not to you. But yeah, talk time. Talk to the mic, don't talk to me. Okay, yeah. In reading uh, uh, through f uh, a thousand pages, a thousand days, uh, which took a very long time to compose, you know, that's uh, uh, three, Three plus years, or is it just on? It's over three years, I think. Uh, and then to read through it in 14 hours, like time is speeding up in some very strange way, and it's like it's like you're flipping through. And in some of the works, I mean, I, I you know, for me reading them, uh, because uh, unlike, well, in some of the works, you, if you were here last night, you could you could hear there were references to, to specific people and events and so on. So. A lot of that you know, it's triggers a memory of something happened. So you sort of see a flashback of your life going by, you know. Uh, and many of the things I can't remember. And I think now the, the uh, more recent work I'm doing, those kinds of actual markers of physical real things have kind of uh, unhappily, alas, disappeared out of the work. Uh, you know, I'm thinking now I'm in uh, l less than 200 days I'm going to be at the end of this fourth uh, work continuum, which I imagined. I didn't even think I would uh, do that. I thought it would be three one. Th I'd do a trilogy of 474 page days, and then I thought, well, maybe I could do a thousand. And again, it's kind of a gesture towards Stein because of her so-called thousand page novel, which I don't think was in any published version. I've never seen it's not a thousand page. Yeah, but she calls it that, and I thought, well, that's great, okay. <laughs> maybe I can do that. And uh, it be, really becomes a kind of obsession and a habit to, to continue with these things. You said unhappily. What, yeah. Unhappily in the new work, markers outside. Yeah, I did, because I'm beginning to think, you know, especially reading last night and when I've had occasion to read uh, some of these from this book in the last, you know, months, I really enjoy the earlier work a lot. Because uh, my life is in there, you know, people I know, and you know, and, and so now it's become sort of the middle, I mean, the, the, the sort of observations of the ridge and so on, that's, it's, you know, that's all real stuff, it's real perceptions, and the last two lines of every page are things that I have seen out in the water surfing the day before, and I come back and I write these notes in this book, so those are also real perceptions, but the middle lines are taken out of text material that I mm -hmm. sort of find and manipulate. So, and it's, and I, I realize, to me, it's almost like writing essays about the other part of the poem, you know, they sort of talk back mm -hmm. and forth, so that it's, a, it's kind of thinking about what it means to, to write, to perceive, to record, you know, to have these moments going by that one is paying, attending to. But at the and same time, it sounds like there's a lot of, there's a lot about memory, you're, you're remembering totally. things on the page also, not yeah. just about the different parts of the poem, but about yeah. previous well, the yeah. previous day, 
and then are, right. th are the different... But it's only a fra... Yeah, it is totally about memory, and it's only a fragment of... You know, one book that I uh, fan ran across, I don't think I ever read it all, but um, Bernadette Mayer's Midwinter Day, mm -hmm. you know, years ago, was like, oh, that's really interesting to write down everything that yeah. happens in a day. And, and I don't do she, that at she, all. And she, like you, uses a lot of different kinds of forms throughout that book to... Uh -huh. she, she does the procedure differently through different chapters, so... Okay. And I... I'd love to hear you describe the different forms that you've used across this project too. The, the syllable well, counts, that's the another line thing. Counts. Yeah, we d I didn't have a chance to talk about that, but yeah. I could for a moment. Each of these uh, books has a different. They're written in. They're all uh, uh, typed in courier on the uh, computer, but uh, it's like a typewriter font. It's a, a equivalent spacing font. So in portraits and repetition, it's each each page is five couplets. The first couplet is always the same length on every line, and the second couplet is always three spaces less than the first. And you so, mean length and spaces very literally. It's the courier font. Yeah. It's not just it's you know, the, Yeah, because each letter, uh, a, a W is as wide as an L. Right. And an L is as wide as a W. So, and these were written uh, by hand in a notebook to begin with, and then uh, the poem took shape on the page. So the shaping, the visual shape on the page, for me, is something that's crucial. Uh, and, and it's somehow a way of, of containing uh, the world and the things in the world into this structure which is, you know, has its own physics and uh, orientation which is like the, you know, the f physics of things in the world. There's this, there's this way of trying to make the poem be like what it's talking about, which is something Bob is you know, very related to Bob's work. I think I try to do it in a different way. Yeah.